had with this because it was like it was a big deal for me and Loren to like put this out there because we knew people were gonna say what the heck are you talking about you know and but when you have access to the kind of research that she does because she worked in the weapons industry for a number of years before she became a whistleblower she has all of the data from Rocky Flats she has all of the data that Wigner did all of his research and that's how we put this together along with you know what's been happening on a massive scale at Fukushima with stuff breaking down you know they can't filter the water they have machines there and basically you know the company that built the machines probably has like a billion dollar contract for the next hundred years because they have to fix the machines every day because they break down because nothing can work in those fields the only thing that really can is people for a short time if the radiation isn't too high but yeah like you said all those suits everything they come in contact with and that's at every nuke plant that's in any frac site all those filter socks that they have at frac sites those are all radioactive and have to be disposed of and they're sent to three different facilities in the united states and they're burned because they're considered low level so they burn it and they send it up into the air one of is one of them is in clive utah and what's happening downwind from clive utah right now women are having miscarriages like crazy they had a huge plume that hit them they were the highest salt lake city in that whole area that's west of the wasatch range had the higher levels than fukushima itself at the beginning of the accident plus they burn radioactive waste there plus they make mox fuel rods so there's all this other stuff going on in the environment and when you go to a place like that where there's like multiple factors, you just look at the population. Everybody's overweight because their thyroids are out of whack. Plus people eat like crap and you can't, you know, you can't support your health if you're not eating healthy food. And anything that you eat that's processed is just complete crap. It does nothing for your body. So you have to like really pay attention to that now. And, you know, the biggest thing like that that affected me out of like studying this for the last four and a half years that was was that um all of a sudden and this was in the mainstream news for like one day and the story disappeared cancer is now the leading cause of death in children and it used to be accidents so you know you have people that go out and they're you know putting helmets on their kids because they're skateboarding and they don't want them to hit their head and all that and really and then they're letting them drink tap water which could have uranium in it because there's been a couple places recently where they found uranium in the tap water. In fact, Libby Halevi did a really good show on that, a nuclear hot seat recently that you guys can check out. And and um, I don't know at this point what can be really done about any of this because the time to deal with this should have been, you know, 50 or 60 years ago when they started building nuke plants everywhere and lied to the public and said that they were to generate electricity. They were to support the military industrial complex, and that's the truth. And they have nothing that can contain the radioactive substances that that they're dealing with. And what's basically happening in nuclear reactors is you have like a supernova going on in there, and it's generating all this plutonium, like 500 pounds per year per reactor. The government gets to keep all that, and they take it to their nuke labs, and then they, like, put it in barrels and cover it with tarps and leave it on the site. And, you know, there, there's no place to put it. The only underground place we had was WIP. They had a canister explode on them and actually, like, possibly a couple hundred canisters underground. So that project is toast. They don't even know what they're going to do to encase that. And they have all the stuff down there now that is vulnerable. And... You know, Carlsbad and, you know, Albuquerque, you know, they, they've had really high levels. I mean, Arizona is always, like, you wouldn't think because they're farther south and they don't get, as you know, a lot of rain that they'd have such high levels, but they do, and it's because of the stuff that's going on in the state itself with, you know, Sandia and Los Alamos, and then you know, once in a while they have a wild 